The story begins after Tempest was associating with Eurizania. On the castle carrion, the beastmaster and one of the demon lords giving instruction to one of his subordinate Foss about Tempest. After that, he given her a mission to secretly investigate about Tempest. Foss accepted the mission with full spirit, assured her master she will complete the mission without fail. After that, she went Tempest for her secret mission. Upon arrival on Tempest, she was amazed by the infrastructure and the environment in Tempest. It was neat, clean also well-maintained. Moreover, she was amazed by how the various monster species living there without any problem. Unlike her hometown, weak monster not allowed enter the capital. Even if you want live outside of the capital, you must pay tax, so you will receive the production from Beastmaster and his warriors. She was thinking, what will happen, the weakest races in Tempest? Maybe they are forcing the weak races to work mercilessly as slaves. If that happened, she'll report this on her master and stop to getting to involve with them. Then she decided to investigate further without any distraction. But after some moment, when she tastes Tempest's grilled yakiniki, she was captivated by its taste and tried some other snacks on list. She really liked the food in Tempest. She cannot resist herself from eating that, wondered how the monsters know make this delicious snack. Then, with the bright smile the goblin sisters mentioned, it was invented by Rimuru-sama. They also mentioned there are other recipes was ongoing on underdevelopment. After that, she went the inn for stay night, hand over some fruits and asked if she could stay here. But the receptionist rejected her for it was not enough. Then Foss challenged the receptionist in duel. If she win, she have to let Foss stay here. But still, the receptionist rejected her and explained, Tempest don't have this kind of rule. It was really shocked to Foss because it was common method in Eurasania. Then she decided to stay outside for the night. But to her fortune, the goblin receptionist mentioned, if she want to stay here, you have to work. Also, she mentioned there is a recruitment going on the highway development. If she willing to work, you can go there. Then Foss went the area where recruitment going on and joined the work. After some time working there, everyone pricing Foss for her excellent work, despite being the newcomer. Also, they mentioned this job was not suitable for her. She must chose more suitable job her. After seeing everyone smile, Foss was wondered how all the members she meeting here will full smile and energetic. While thinking that, suspicious noise she heard on the forest and alerted everyone there, monsters coming towards them. Then she went to the forest alone. And she notices some raptor-type monsters heading towards the highway development area. Without thinking, she went to fight with them alone. After driving attention from the monsters, she went different direction to protect the people from the highway area. While running, she tripped, about to fall. But she managed without falling and facing the monsters, even after knowing she was in disadvantage. But suddenly an arrow pierced through an eye of the lizard. Foss was wondering what is going on. There was the guards coming. With Goputa and Glucis, she was relieved for the reinforcement. Then starting to fight with the lizards, while saw her performance, Glucis and Goputa priced her performance. After some time of fighting, they managed to defeat all the monster and clear the area. Then Glucis warned her, it was dangerous, go on you own. After knowing she was acquaintance with Glucis, Goputa asked Foss to join the guards. With her fighting ability, she doesn't have the problem for joining the guards. Then, she accepted the position and joined the Tempest Guards group. After the morning training... The Buemon announced Rimuru-sama is going to Dwargan City with the Goblin Riders. And he assigning the guards for their patrolling area. Gobeman asked Foss about, did she understand about the town? But Foss didn't concentrate on Gobwomen, wondering there is a lot of footstalls here on her patrolling area. He was wondering if she could do her job properly. On the way of patrol, Foss found a Goblin girl was in trouble. And went towards the child for help her. After noticed them, that girl even cry more. After calming her, she mentions that a charm she made for Rimuru, for his safe journey, went missing. That is why she desperately looking for that. Then, Foss azured the girl about she will find the charm for her. But, Gobwiman warned Foss about, this town was very big. It's impossible to find that item. Despite that Foss was confident about finding the item, because it's her speciality. After some time in search, she really found the charm. Both, the goblin girl and Gobwemen, was amazed by the Foss's ability. But unfortunately, there was large crowd blocking them from reaching Rimuru. It's impossible to give the charm. Without thinking, 
Foss grabbed that goblin girl and fly over the building. Upon reaching the rooftop, she was captured by Soe. Then she was realized she made big mistake for act like an assassin. Without moment of thinking, she mentioned that she was a Kabitai. And she mentioned that punishment will not be a problem. But that goblin girl she was brought was not her fault. She just wanted Givrimuru-sama a charm. Then Soe went near them. Foss apologized to her master for not fulfill her duty. But to her surprise, she was front of carriage where Rimuru and others here. Then Rimuru entered in front of them. They were shocked after seeing Rimuru in person. Rimuru asked the goblin girl if she wants something. Without moment of thinking, that girl given her charm to Rimuru. After receiving that, Rimuru was very happy and promised her he'll take good care of it. Then priced Foss about her work and keep it up. After some time, Gobwayman arrived in front of Foss warned her about don't to this king of reckless thing again. But he surprised about how she meet Rimuru. After the morning training, Foss found her knife was damaged with the recent battle. While thinking that, Gobwomon approached her from behind. He was very angry about she was training with damaged sword. Then they went the blacksmith for repair her sword. Foss was amazed by how the blacksmith's working here like fight in a battle. After some time, her knife was repaired also. Kurobi mentioned he can add some magic effects on that weapon makes Foss more surprised. After hearing that, she'll try on next time. While they speaking, a new visitor arrived at the Kuropa's place. A girl same age as Foss, claiming her as a dragon worshiper, and her name was Stella. She want to know if the Milim Sama was here before? After hearing that Foss was foesed, Milim was an ancient demon lord and no as a destroyer. Wondering why her subordinate was here? But to her surprise, Kurobi mentioned, she was here before, whenever she was bored while staying in Tempest. And Stella expressed her desire to come was, she wanted confirm, just what kind of country Tempest was. And this place was not big deal and left the place. With the sudden event, everyone in the shop was surprised. But not everyone was happy about the way of she speaking, like looking down on their country. Foss suddenly went after her before she causes more trouble. She searched for Stella for all over the place. Then she found Stella while doing something crazy. Foss went to stop her, but she suddenly tossed Foss to the ground. Foss was not expected that sudden attack coming from Stella. Then they started to fight. But their fight attracted some attention from the surrounding. Then Foss offered Stella for guide her around the town. If she want to evaluate this country, she has to visit every place where Milim previous visit. Foss first offer her where Milim often visit for the food. That was moved Stella's heart and accepted her offer. Then they went place where Milim often visit for eat. Upon reaching the place, Foss explained this place often offer special menu for their customer. But on the building's rooftop, she found some unfamiliar figure like a harpy. Wonder what she is doing here. Then Foss asked Stella wait for bit and went to check. Her name was Nemu. She was very hungry that she can't move anymore. And she took her for restaurant eat. While eating, Nemu thanked Stella about buying her food. Then she revealed that she has been working Tempest in order to eat food. Foss was surprised that Nemu working on Tempest. Suddenly, Settela starting to complain about the food like it don't have the nature's blessing. Despite Foss's try to calm her down, she's still persistent. Suddenly, Nemu feed her when Stella let her guard down. After that, she was fell silent for a while. Then suddenly started to captivated by its taste and started to price to food. The she decided to learn to for her master Milam and thanked Foss for taking her to this place. Foss gladly accepted her and Stella left the place. When Foss looking for Nemu, she already left without telling. While wondering where she going, cashier come to Foss for Bill. Then she lost all the points she saved after meeting two of them.